Here's how to make photorealistic t-shirt mock-ups using stock photos. A mosquito? Oh my god, I missed. Great, I'm gonna have a mosquito flying around my face. I like to use Pexels for free stock photography, but you'll notice a lot of their photos have been extremely color corrected and stylized. The blacks are kind of crushed and you know, it looks really awesome. I love this style of photo, but it is hard to use as a base for something when you're creating mock-ups in Photoshop. So yeah, if we look at this photo, you can see the blacks have been toned down. There's a lot of low contrast. There's a good like tint of color over the whole thing. It's really awesome. And the problem is that whenever you pay in your artwork, it's very jarring and it's very smooth. It doesn't take on the noise that's in this photo. So this is how I get around it. After I paste my artwork in, I go to Edit, Perspective Warp, and then I just draw a simple box in the area of where my artwork is going to be press enter, and then you can grab these pins and kind of move things around. This photo has like a good flat front, so I think it works pretty well. I don't have to make too many changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit to that by pressing enter. So I wanna show you how I used to do this before they released an update with the neural filters. With your artwork layer selected, go to image adjustments and match color, and then you'll get these sliders so that you can adjust these things here. And it lets you make these micro adjustments to your image to try to match the background. But Photoshop has now released a super, super easy version of this with the neural filters. So with your artwork layer selected, go to filter, neural filters, and then select harmonization. Turn that little button on and then select the background as your reference image. Give it a couple of seconds and it will automatically adjust this. So you can see that the black value is now the same as the other blacks in your original photo and the colors have kind of toned down using the overall color tone that's been applied to this image by the photographer. So of course you can also make micro adjustments in here and lower the strength and kind of mess with some of these colors here, like maybe I want to do the yellow a little bit more yellow and then click OK and you've got a new layer with this adjusted color. Now here's my favorite part of making this match the actual style of the image is go to your background and create a selection of the t-shirt area that your artwork covers and then just press Command J so it'll create a new layer with just that t-shirt image. And then you take that layer and drag it above your artwork and then holding Option or Alt on PC, click between the two layers and you'll see this little arrow here. And what that does is it creates a clipping mask from the top layer to the bottom layer. So now I set this top texture of the t-shirts to overlay. And then sometimes I'll play with the opacity and just kind of you know, get it into a place that I really like it. But what it does is it allows some of those textures and that noise from the t-shirt to be applied over your artwork. And now you get this nice little subtle green that looks a lot like a screen print whenever you are using a image with a lot of flat colors. Here, I'll go ahead and turn it on and off so you can see the difference. So yeah, in some pretty quick steps, we went from this jarring, bright artwork to something that matches the reference image, is super subtle with the textures, and the colors have been toned down to fit the overall image. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Super quick tip. I hope it was very helpful. And if you want to see more tips on how I make awesome t-shirt art, watch this video. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.